Hi folks, it's uh, Sunday today, it'll be Monday when you see this, um, when is it, 20 past 2 in the afternoon, I have done spin this morning, then came back and had a shower, went and collected the shopping, came back, cooked dinner, I've done the ironing, just painted my nails, so I can't crochet or anything at the minute, so I'll let them dry, got a new nail varnish, uh, it's a Maybelline one, same as the, um, the same make as the black uh, that I bought, and it's quite good. Dries nicely. This is needed quite a few coats. Uh, excuse the bits around my skin. Uh, I'm not very neat at painting my nails, uh, so I just tend to do it and then I get rid of the bits around the edge later. Uh, I always like painting my nails, I don't tend to do it a lot because. Uh, the nail varnish I had previously, uh, I always tend to buy like fairly cheap ones and they either chip really quickly or uh, they take forever to dry. It's quick dry and I've got a top coat, I can't remember what make that is, but it's quick dry top coat as well, pretty good. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, so I'm waiting for my nails to dry. <sighs> I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day. I plan to crochet. It's Formula One later. But I don't get to watch it until the evening because we don't have uh, the Sky F1 channel, um, and it's only shown on like free TV uh, on terrestrial TV as highlights. So I have to wait till it's on at about half seven. I watched qualifying this morning. I recorded it last night. I forgot to watch it last night. Dope. Um, the sun's out, which is nice. I've just got a wash finishing. Um, so, uh, my, all, all my gym stuff and the rest of the darks. I did like two or three washes yesterday just to pulls like work jumpers in various colours. So, I did a wool wash and then I did. A, no, I didn't do a red wash. I think I did another dark wash, but then I've done another dark wash today for my gym stuff. Spin was hard, and the blooming um, sound system broke again. So uh, we had to, she had to go and fetch someone to come and wiggle the wires uh, to get it working again. It wasn't working a couple of weeks ago, and they ended up bringing in like a almost like a um, boom box thing just so it could play CDs because doing spin with no music is very strange. But we hadn't started last time, she just couldn't get it going. But this time it started up and then cut out the second song in. So we were already into it by then. So all you could do was like, <sighs> <laughs> just put the resistance up. I'm like, no, that's going to make us breathe even harder. It was it was weird, like, group breathing session. It wasn't very nice. Um, but they got it fixed. So yeah, it's good. It's hard work as usual. Uh, and then I came out of the gym and the car park was absolutely crazy I don't know whether they've got like because usually the weekend mornings trying to well, the weekend in general trying to park at the gym uh, it's a leisure centre and then there's the, the big park uh, it's called West Park it's beautiful um, the, obviously they do well, they used to do rugby and football and there was a softball league and then you've got the people going to the play areas. I don't think they've reopened the splash pad. It's like an outdoor water park thing there. Um, so yes, yeah, a, a smaller kiddies play area, a bigger kids play area. The splash pad and then the various... There's a cricket club, there's a bowls club, but that's that's slightly separate. There's tennis courts. It, it's really nice. Um, but yeah, it looks like they've got rugby or football back on or something. They do park runs there as well. Um, yeah, there were a lot of cars. There were people like waiting for me to come out of my space. But you know when people wait for you to come out of the space but don't actually give you enough room to get out of your space? I'm like, can't get out. If you move, I will happily move and you can have my space. Um, so yeah, I was glad to get out of the car park and away from the... the parking crazy you could see parents getting you know they're probably on the third or fourth trip around the car park trying to park even the um they've got a big climbing frame thing um 
can't remember what it's actually called. If I can find it, I'll put a link for it below. I think it's only like, there's only a couple in the UK. And they built one at our leisure centre. Um, on the car park. I'm like, yeah, because we needed less car park spaces here, didn't we? I think it was like in the big disabled um, parking section they'd got. But I'm like, that, don't, are you replacing, are you putting more disabled spots somewhere else? Or are you just taking them out? Or I, I don't get it. But yeah, um, so they built that in the winter, uh, last winter, and then it was open for about two weeks or so, not not a great deal of time, and then the lockdown happened, so, anyway, so yes, that was that, fetched all the shopping, I put back, um, I'd ordered four bottles of pop for the boys, um, I don't think they actually need that many, but I'm just used to them being at home. Um, so it was four two-litre bottles of pop, and it cost that was going to be like one pound eighty or something because it was on offer. Um, and they didn't have it, so they replaced it with Pepsi and tried to give us for the same price two and a half litres of pop. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not paying that much for no. But they did have dandelion and burdock in store. They've not had it since March. I love dandelion and bird muck. We used to have it when I was kids. My dad used to call it dandelion and bird muck and we used to think it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> That's so funny. Proper like dad joke. Um, I will show you, I'll try and nip on later and show you the blanket. I filmed a clip yesterday which I'll pop in here. Hey folks, it's Saturday evening. It's five to six. Uh, the boys are, well, Paul's making dinner and the boys are sitting at the table, so it's noisy. I just laid this out because I've just done round, I don't know what, 60 something. Can't get my stitch count right. It's really annoying, so I've had it spread out on the floor. I've gone round and counted in 50 stitch increments, making sure I've got the right number of stitches in each bit. I think, I've got right the way back round here, I think I've put an extra double crochet fan there I think that's where I've gone wrong so that is on the round below so I'm gonna have to rip back see this is 750 stitches I should have 756 and I've got about 15 or so too many so I've gone wrong somewhere which is very annoying so I'm going to rip all this back then I think I think rip that back. Hmm, hope it's the end of this row, so hopefully I can rip back and get it right. But I'm gonna do that after dinner. But I thought I'd come on and show you. It doesn't always go according to plan. Um it's looking good though. So I've okay. got dinner's ready. Right, so I'll take this on to tomorrow. Yeah, that was me making another mistake. So I had to rip back. Um, 770 something stitches and then the framework of the round below all of that and then one fan stitch that I'd done that was out of place and then I got the blanket all laid out on the floor and I counted it twice and Paul, <laughs> Paul was like can you get this right? he was like you were annoying me I thought you were supposed to be good at this and I like, shut up <laughs> He's like, come on, you, you need to get this right. I'm like, sheesh. Um, I think he was more concerned that I was like, at one point, laying on the floor, on the, like, on my stomach, working my way around the blanket, counting 700 and something stitches, and putting stitch markers in, and then swearing when I got to the end and realised that I did it wrong. Um, yeah. That was annoying. It's I'm not counting like I didn't count the fan stitches. If I'd have done that, I'd have known I'd done one too many. But it didn't look um massively out of place, but obviously so I'm back on the seven hundred and sixty seven hundred and sixty five half double crochet row, so fingers crossed <laughs> I've got it right now. Um Yes, so that was yesterday's um escapade. I don't know what we're going to do for... Oh, I think Jack wants to do 
tea tonight. He's Tobin took over making his and Jack's dinner. So we bought a baguette and I cut them a, a section off and they Tobin buttered them. Oh no, did they butter their own? I don't know. But then they put some like pizza tomato sauce on the front on the baguette and then I grated cheese on for them and they put pepperoni on it and stuck it under the grill and it tasted nice but they take far too long to eat it so by the time they were you know they were still faffing and eating it and gone cold and horrible but so they had pizza toast um, and they liked it and then tonight Jack wants to we have a tuna pasta bake and Jack wants to substitute the tuna with pepperoni but he wants to layer the pepperoni like like lasagna sheets and then put the sauce and the pasta in and then put some more pepperoni on top so we said we'll give that a try and cheese on he went oh we don't need cheese and like you need but we'll have some cheese so we'll do that and see how that comes out I like pepperoni but I get like a little bit of indigestion with it so we'll see not a massively fun day, but um, fairly chilled one. All their, all of their uniform. The, the uniform they've worn this week is ironed. Next week's ironing will be the because it will be five shirts of Tobin's, five pairs of trousers of Tobin's, and then it'd be five shirts, jumpers, and trousers of Jacks as well, and then four shirts or jumpers, whichever he wears. I won't be contributing to the ironing pile at all <laughs> because I don't wear any work clothes at the minute. Not that I work naked, obviously, but I just wear t-shirts and stuff. Not my usual sort of linen jumpers. Um, Paul's place is having a sale next week, so I, I will probably go over. Um, but it's kind of weird. I don't need to buy any work clothes because I'm not wearing any work clothes. But I'll go and have a mooch. Go to... Um, to the new place that his company's moved to. What a horrible noise, sorry about that. Um, got the windows open because I was cold earlier and then I started ironing and it got very hot and Paul walked in and went, you know, nearly passed out. So he's like, shall I open the windows? I'm like, oh, go on then. Same though, the ironing didn't take that long. I don't know why it got so hot so fast. Anyway, I'm waffling at you. So. Uh, I'll try and it back with a clip to show you, actually, do you I can do it now? Hang on, I'll grab the blanket one second back. It's not much different to where I was yesterday. I am on round 62, so I had to pull back to round 60. Um, it's heavy now. So I am just building up double uh, half double crochets on the top of this row. I don't know what else I've got to do. What's next? These stitches. So I've just be careful now because where is it? This is all the yarn I have. I'm still working on what I uh, unraveled. But yeah, it's probably two thirds of the ball, maybe a little bit more, three quarters. Um and that's it, that's all I've got left. So this will be done fairly soon. Uh, if I don't mess it up. <laughs> there were so many choices of words there. If I don't make a mistake again. But yeah, so I like it. Uh, it's, it is, I'm not, I'm not angry at the blanket. I'm angry at myself for being, you know, not counting properly. But these things happen apparently several times during this blanket. But it's not the pattern's fault. It's purely mine. But... Look how pretty those star stitches are. This is one of those blankets that you always look at and you know you can see a different part each time and think, oh that's pretty, oh that's pretty. And there's some cross stitches right down near the star. They're really pretty. It's not really near the start, but here. Um, I'm showing you right, yeah, here. These are lovely and this mesh section, I like that. Really like it. Uh, oops. Yeah. I think it came up on my memories that I was working on one of these about four years ago. It seems like 
every couple of years I go through a spurt and make a few. Which one's this? Hello Jack, you alright? Hello. <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. What are you Minecraft doing? With Dad. Minecraft with Dad. I better turn the camera off then before he comes in and starts moaning. Yeah. He's obsessed with Minecraft now, aren't you? Yep, mm. I'm becoming a gamer now. He is. He's terrible. Mm. He's sprayed some deodorant off to shave, haven't you? Yes, smells Maybe. snazzy. Alright, I'm going to go. So I will be back tomorrow. Bye. This mister will be at school. Yeah. Tabor will be at school. You're going to be with your new teacher all day tomorrow, aren't you? You're in your yep. new class from now on. So it'll be year four, full proper from now from tomorrow. He's had a little transition with his old teacher. So it straight was to year fun. four. Yeah, yeah, it's good. You needed that, didn't you, to see you? Oh yeah, we had a fun lesson because that class is like a class bubble. Mhm. Mm we made our own bubble makers. He's gone. He's coming back. I think. Don't trip on that. So we put a bit of wire and connected it up to a cookie cutter and put it on a stick. I didn't pick the little heart, I was given it. So it makes bigger bubbles because it's bigger. Yeah, I made a bubble about that big at school. Wow. But that bubble mix was green. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye guys.